we're back, man. Our women are tough. They're as tough as they come. Let me tell you about the lost sister. Frances Slocum from Pennsylvania ended up in Indiana. Frances was just five years old. She's a young kid at the time. She gets abducted from her home, captured by the Delaware Indians, grew up with the Native Americans, brought to Indiana the lost sister trail. Come along. So check this out. Francis became one with the Miami people. She even had a Miami name, Maconaqua, which means little bear or young bear. So while Maconaqua was living right here, George Ewing came through and he saw her uniquely white, palish skin, her reddish hair, and was like, hold on, you don't quite look like everybody else. Wrote her story down. She tells him that I was once abducted when I was five years old by some Indians and ended up a member of the Indians, fully immersed in their culture, in their community, and in the tribes. He writes a letter, sends it back to Pennsylvania. There is now living in this place among the Miami tribe of Indians, an aged white woman who a few days ago told me that she was taken from her father's house on or near the Susquehanna River when she was very young. She says her father's name was Slope and that he was a Quaker and wore a large brimmed hat. Lo and behold, her family from Pennsylvania comes right here. They meet again, they speak again, they start talking, they start interacting. She no longer spoke English at the time. There's an interpreter between her family and her. She speaks the native tongue of the Native Americans in that area, and they speak English. She doesn't speak English anymore. They're talking, they're begging her, come back to Pennsylvania, come back home. She says, no, this is my home. I've lived a great life here with the Indian people. The irony about Slocum's kidnapping from Pennsylvania and being with the Miami people is that she had a greater role as a woman than she would have had with her white family. And she realized this. 1840, the Treaty of Wabash was sent to kick out all of her family, all of her Miami Indian family. She's a tough woman, man. She was not leaving here. She came into the Miami culture, the Miami ways, and became a leader, a highly respected individual. McConaughey hits up her brothers and she says, hey, let the U.S. government know me and my child, we ain't moving. And that's what her brothers did. They let them know and the U.S. government made McConaughey and her tribe exempt from the treaty and they remained in Indiana until the day that they died. This is where she's buried, man, right here. This is where Frances is laid to rest for forever. She wanted to die right here on this land. Just because you're not born in Indiana, if you're a woman, you move into Indiana, you instantly get that tough blood in your veins, man. She came from Pennsylvania to Indiana. Whether you're born here or you die here, you're going to be a tough woman. I know it.